boxes of Capri Sun. You can collect all four. There's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman! Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Flashy duds, Batman. My tech shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my tech shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. Fly, Batcopter. Fire! Get him! Ah, where does it get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Tech Shield Batman, Batcopter and Joker sold separately. Part of Batman, the Dark Knight Collection. Mm. Oh, it's back! Mm. That crazy craving for honeycomb! Honeycomb, honeycomb! Mm. We want honeycomb! Yeah, honeycomb. Yeah. I can see it now. Yeah. Honeycomb, honeycomb is so sweet, sweet and crunchy! Sweet and crunchy! Like toasted, uh... Honey? 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 That's it, honey. Yeah, we yeah. want honeycomb now! Let's get some! Honeycomb is part of this nutritious breakfast. Hey, um. Terminator 2. The future warrior brought back to save our world. His mission to destroy the evil T-1000. In his mobile assault vehicle, Terminator scours the streets for his deadly foe. Adios, amigo. It's the ultimate confrontation as Power Arm Terminator faces certain death, only to return stronger and more powerful as Techno Punch Terminator. Hasta la vista, baby. Terminator 2. I'll be back. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive. Allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Space Ranger Gooseman? Roger Control. Longshot is a research facility, not a maximum security installation. I'm as worried about my net as you are, Chief, but until the Board of World Leaders makes up its mind, we continue testing. My net's potential is too dangerous. Security Chief De Silva here. Chief? Galaxy Ranger Gooseman has just arrived. He says the Board of Leaders gave him orders to take charge of MindNet. Welcome to Longshot, Ranger Gooseman. Look, I'm in a hurry. I'm taking this MindNet thing for safekeeping. Surely Walsh would have informed me. Where's your identification? ID, get serious. Even in the Rangers, there's nobody else who can do this. Hold it! That's an electroshock field. <laughs> He's hard. It's producing a bio defense. Seen enough? We worked on the Series 5 implant. But we ought to get confirmation just the same. Use the commo terminal in the mine net lab. Let's go. As you know, our labs work on very long-range research. We have a couple of your friends helping our aqua environment study. What's wrong, Winter? Goose ignored us! I thought Ranger Gooseman was their friend. Icarus and Winter don't think so. I'll call security.
We never expected such incredible results from MindNet. Chief, security, line one. Forget it, Chief. Security alert! Alert in the MindNet lab! <coughs> Enjoy the nap, sucker. Not only do I get my net, when they come looking for the thief... They're gonna come right to you, Gooseman. Soon everybody will know the best of the Super Troopers ain't you. It's me, Riker Kilbane! <laughs> Waldo, you're just being stuffy. Zero gravity gymnastics is good exercise and good training, too. I appreciate your concern, Nico, but zero G just isn't natural. Oh, yeah? How come there's so much of it? Watch, Waldo. It's easy. See, Waldo? I promise we won't let you get hurt. But it's all so... so undignified. Come on, loosen up, Gizmo. No! Oof! Unhand me! Nico, shall we dance? It's a date. Ah! Nico, what's wrong? Hey, we need some help in here! Doc, give me a boost. Coming up. Nico, what's wrong? Something terrible has happened. Charge ignition. Something activated her implant. This is Senator Weiner. There has been a robbery at Longshot. The thief was identified as you, Ranger Gooseman. Fox, your rangers are to report for a court of inquiry, and you're to bring Gooseman along under arrest. Listen, mister. I'm a galaxy ranger, and I took an oath. We'll report at once, but you're making a big mistake. Zachary, thanks for backing me. The day we don't trust one another is the day the galaxy rangers are finished. I was just getting used to one of you. It wasn't me. We are dealing with a very dangerous enemy. We must find out who it is. Goose is no traitor, Commander Walsh. Just where are the other super troopers who survived, Goose? I wish I knew. Look, what's this gizmo they say I swiped? MindNet is a means of artificially induced telepathy. At high settings, it could allow control of intelligent life. Intelligent? How fortunate that Senator Weiner is safe. We were lucky. The thief got only half of the device. The other half is here in Bader's isolation chamber. Can the thief get MindNet to function? I don't know. The stolen part has powers we don't fully understand. It does work. I felt it activate my charge. Uh, the board is still sensitive about the surviving super troopers. They want Goose jailed. Sir, give us a shot at recovering MindNet. I've got 24 hours to turn Goose in. That's all the chance you'll have. Kilbane, you bungler! I must have mind net. All of it! Your Majesty, this half will boost your powers. You told me you were the most powerful of the Super Troopers. But you're inferior! You could only imitate Gooseman's powers for a few seconds. You're wrong! Gooseman's powers need his implant! I summon mine at will! To attack! I'm Gooseman's superior in every way! Prove it, then! 
you'll not only get the rest of my net, I'll give you the Galaxy Rangers as well! If you fail me again, you'll end up inside a Psycho Crystal! Or worse! <laughs> Nico, you'll be pushing your powers to the limits with this computer link-up. If you're sure you're up to it, let's begin. Doc? We'll do whatever it takes to clear Goose. Pathfinder? Need you, little buddy. Captain Fox, someone is coming. Hurry, Doc. Okay, Nico, it's all yours. Nico, make contact with the remaining MindNet component. Doc, link up with the computer system. All set, Zachary. All right, everyone. Let's do it. Goose, picture the other super troopers in your mind. Doc, start running the correlation. Him, that's the one. Got it. Kill Bane. I should have figured. We did it. Zachary, we can't let them stop us. All right, men. You know your orders. We don't want to hurt you now. No! Oh, oh. oh, my. Hey, let's not lose our sense of humor. Getting stun guns should give you a laugh. Shouldn't we get a second opinion? Where are your men? Have you two met? Pardon me. You don't know me well enough to stun me. You'll never get away with this. We'll take the component with us. I think I can trace the thought image. Let's go, team. Wait for me, Rangers. Zach, what in tarnation are you up to? I'm under orders not to let you leave Earth. Turn that transport around right now. No can do, Nat. But that's an order! I'm ducking into the commercial trap. Sir! Sir, we've lost them! What? They're right out there! Somewhere! Ready to jump, Nico. Where to? Sorry, Eddie. I'm <laughs> Sorry, Ed. Out of the blast furnace, <laughs> and into the converter. Triton. Let's go, boy. Kilbane is very near. I'm getting a strong impression of the mind net device. Shouldn't Zozo and I be disguised too? You two and Buzz are staying with the ship and the mind net component. It's our fight too. We're counting on you to do your job. Oh, all right. But be careful. Speed it, anchovy brain. Let's go. Guess I told you. This way. There. Look out! 
A trap! Get out of here! Rico! <laughs> Glad you could make it, chumps! Yes! It was so easy to plant images in your mind, my little Nico, and draw you here with this! Runt, you're still a loser, old buddy! Still the man you never beat, old buddy. Enough! Where's the rest of my net? You don't really expect us to hand you the galaxy on a silver platter, do you? If you don't, I'll burn the very minds from you all! I have the power of mind net! I can fight this! Nico, it's too strong! Goose, Doc, help her! One on one. Like the old days. And the winner gets both halves of mind net. Goose, no! How dare you resist? Still scared of me, Kilbane. You runt! I'll squash you like a cockroach! I say no! Either way, you have them. I say we fight! Finally, you'll prove yourself. Super Trooper against Super Trooper. Interesting. Just remember what I said about failing, Kilbane. <laughs> there are weapons, if you can reach them. Some are nearly empty. Some are almost full. Prepare. Where are the other super troopers? Gravestone, Darkstar, and the rest. Don't worry about them. They're gonna live a lot longer than you. Well, let the games begin. Never good enough to be a super trooper. Chain. Who save your charge? Don't use it up. You can't win, Runt. You're inferior. So how come you're the one who's backing away? We'll see about that! Finish him! Get it over with! Ole! Save your charge. Out of tricks. What about this? You're finished! Stand still! Fighting you is like standing still. Go, Goose! Put him away! You were always a loser! Yeah? Then how do you explain this? Yeah, alright! doesn't have to end this way. We can help you. And be like you? A slave? This has gone far enough. I will have my net. We made a bargain. Not with me. You, you can have it if we can go free. 
What? Zachary, trust me. Well, of course, my pretty. Of course. All right. Mine met yours. How very sensible. At last, supreme power! You'd better start with a low setting. Don't tell me how to handle it. Lord! Sublime! Quick, gather round. I've got to shield us. Ah, you witch! Stay out of my mind! So, your intentions become clear. Double-crossing brute! How dare you! So that's your plan! Stay away from me! Give it back to me! The mind net machine opened their minds to one another. Let's go, Rangers! I know you're coming after us, and I'll be waiting for you. Leaving so soon, my dear? You're becoming tired. Thanks, Buzzwang. Kilbane, when you see the others, warn them. I'm not a super trooper anymore, and I'll never again be a super trooper. You're not human! You're not a super trooper! Just what are you, Gooseman? I'm a Galaxy Ranger. Make sure you don't forget that. Sorry I damaged mine, that Dr. Kruger. Maybe it's not such a bad thing, Buzz Wang. We won't experiment again until we've built in safeguards. At least the board finally had to recognize Shane Gooseman's innocence. We were hoping you rangers could help us here at Longshot. Some of the things we develop require rather unusual people to test them. Well, people just don't come any more unusual than the Galaxy Rangers, Doctor. Insider's privileges at the Miracle Factory. Q-Ball's gonna love this. Ha! You don't like the idea, Doc? Maybe if Longshot gives some attention to important things. Like what, Doc? How about some stunt clones? I could save the universe while I'm sound asleep. <laughs> no, I'm serious. And while I'm on the subject, video for robots. A droid also has feelings. Doc, you are so human. to reveal two worlds of battle action from Galoob. B-5-0-5! Come on, you guys. It's only a little. Oh, 
big giant. Hungry for a big honey taste. Big taste, honeycomb, big taste. Honeycomb taste, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Honeycomb's got a big honey taste. Big, big crust for a big, big bite. Honeycomb cereal, part of this big, complete breakfast. Honeycomb's a big, big bite. Yeah! Aliens. They're unstoppable, but we're going to stop them anyway. Send in the Marines. We're the space. Marines, Drake, Ripley, A-Bone, Bishop, and I'm Hicks, armed with the latest high-tech heavy metal. Look out, Hicks! The Queen's gonna crown you! My bug rocker's on a roll! Bull alien attacking! Eat torch, bug brain! Alien invasion problem? Send in the Marines! Aliens! Send in the Marines! Space Marines! Aliens! I got the ball that lets you reach all the sky. I got the ball that lets you fly, fly, fly. I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, ranger? Barbarian? Magician? Thief? Cavalier? And acrobat? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Are you sure Dungeon Master said to come this way, Hank? I, I'm pretty sure. But we haven't seen a village all day. Or anything to eat, either. Unless you're into eating rock burgers. I wonder what's in there. Something that moans a lot. Yeah, and probably something bigger and uglier that makes it moan. There's no way home through there. Dungeon Master! Quite correct, Cavalier. A heartless dragon dwells in the Vale of Mists, and there is no portal to your world. Ha! What did I tell you? Even he agrees with me! However, when oh. the dragon's heart is in the right place, it may show you the way home. What in the world does that mean? Yeah, Dungeon Master, oh. what... Oh no, he's gone! And I think we should follow his example. I'm obviously in the minority. We're gonna regret this, kid. You'll see. All right, Eric. I'm sure. Wow, this fog's thicker than peanut butter. Shh, hold it down. Whatever it is, we don't want it to know we're here. <laughs> so much for sneaking in. Where are we? Dungeon Master told us about. Yeah, and get a load of them. <laughs> Orcs? <laughs> Venger must have something to do with this. <sighs> so tired. I can't work anymore. Oh. <laughs> get up, gnome. No resting. Oh, I can't. There will be no rest.
rest until you have mined all the mystic gems for Venger. Let him alone, you big nerds! Bobby! Blood off, you big bozos! Stop him! Stop the intruder! No, leave me! You have no chance against all of them! Stop them! You dwarf, I need help! All uh, right, Kabibu Kazip, send that orc on a trip! Oh well, close enough. Stop them! Now, now, temper, temper! Come on, let's get out of here! No, let me go! Let me go! What's wrong? We just saved your life! Yeah, you might show a little gratitude. You don't understand. The valley is under Venger's spell. No gnome may leave the valley and live. Maybe Presto's magic can lift the spell. Yeah, right, and maybe you can lift a dump truck. Only the spellbinder Lukion can break the spell. His magic protected our valley for centuries. Where can we find this spellbinder? Haven't we done enough volunteer work for one day? No one can find Lukian. When he refused to tell Venger the secret of the dragon's heart, Venger imprisoned him in the Swamp of Sorrow. Wait! Dragon's heart! Dungeon Master said that would show us the way to get home! Ah. Huh? Well, you've got to tell us where this swamp is! To the south, beyond the forest! And now, I must return to face my punishment. We'll be back! Honest! As soon as we find Lukion! Right, Bobby! Come on, let's get going! Then the young ones helped this slave try to escape! Have mercy, Great Venger! I returned here willingly to serve you! What did you tell the young humans? Did you speak of Lukian? Or the secret of the dragon's heart? I do not know the secret, Great Venger! I said only that Lukian is your prisoner, and that no one could uh, find him. Yet they have set out to search for him? Yes. Return the slave to his work. Yes, master. Shadow Demon! Yes, Highness? You will go to the Swamp of Sorrow and find the young ones. If they locate Lukian, he may tell them the secret of the dragon. You will report it to me at once. As you wish. And if they don't find the Spellbinder? Then the Swamp shall claim them. And you will collect their weapons for me. That gnome gave us a bum steer. Not even Venger would build a prison in a mud hole like this. It'd sink right into the slime. Your reasoning is sound, Cavalier. No one would build a prison here. You agree with me? Twice in one day? Indeed. For Lucian dwells in the saddest prison of all. A prison without walls. Huh? What kind of prison doesn't have walls? Yeah, Dungeon Master, that doesn't make any... Ah, oh, rats. He's gone again. Maybe he went home to his little dungeon without floors or something. Huh? Oh, great! Help! Pull harder! It won't oh. let go! <gasps> Sheila! Oh no, we're surrounded! The toadstools don't get us, that muck monster will! Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. Wow, neat! He's on our side!
saved our lives, Eric. Maybe it doesn't mean us any harm. Yeah, I bet you believe in the Tooth Fairy, too. Shoot, will you? It's feeding off the arrow's energy. It's getting bigger. This is terrible. Closer standing here. Come on. I'm tired. Can't we stop and rest? Yeah. I'm getting slapped at. And I'm beginning to think we'll never find Lukeon. Do not despair, my young adventurers. Uh -huh. You are closer to finding Lukeon than you think. But how will we know him? what he says without speaking. What's he gonna do, whistle? You must find him quickly, during the crossing of the Four Suns tomorrow. For that is the only time Lukian can help you. Dungeon Master? Where'd he go? <coughs> I'm really confused now. What's confusing? We just find the heart of the prison and the dragon that speaks without walls and we're home free. It's simple. Place. You mean, what was this creepy place? Do you think this could be the prison without walls? I don't know. This sure doesn't look like a prison to me. I think it's just gross. Let's go. Hey, not so fast. I could use a little rest before we march back into the muck. <laughs> Good idea, Eric. Take a load off your brains. Very funny. <laughs> You can have it! You can have it! A zombie! Eric needs help! Ah! Sheila! House! Ah! Oh. Oh. We're, We're going! going. We're, We're going. going! Hey! Help! Ah! Your arrow didn't stop him! What are we gonna do? An earthquake? <gasps> yeah! Hurry! Let's blow this dump while we've got the chance! Oh no! Mr. Muckball again! again. Well, stay back. We don't want to have to hurt you. Careful, Hank. Don't give him too big a scare. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you nuts? Dungeon Master said we'd know Lukeon by what he spoke without words. Well, his actions speak without words. He saved us. Twice. You gotta be kidding. That is, is Lukeon? I think it wants us to follow. You're not gonna trust a mound of killer crabgrass, are you? Outvoted again. He wants to show us something. Wow, it's magic stuff. I bet this is Lucian's. See? I told you! He probably ate Lukeon and kept his stuff! Wise up, Eric! Venger must have changed Lukeon into this creature. 
Trapped in this form, he can't say any magic words, and he can't work any spells. He's in a, a prison without walls. Right. <laughs> oh, gross. That gem is beating li like a heart. <laughs> the heart of the dragon. <laughs> Want me to work a spell to change you back? Yeah. Oh, what if I found it? I might turn you into a bullywug or something. You've got to try, Presto. Lukeon's our only hope to free the gnomes from Venger. And for us to find a way home. Okay, here goes. Ah! Lukeon? Wow. Oh, brother, what's next? Card tricks? Look, can you tell us how to get home or not? The secret you seek lies within the heart of the dragon. We'll see once my fellow gnomes have been set free. Venger may have something to say about that, Lucian. March to work. To work. Lucian and the young ones. You are free, my friends. Lucian, you kept your promise. We can never thank you enough. Oh, yes, you can. Just show us the way home. Yes, the time is right. The four suns are about to converge. So that's why it's called the Heart of the Dragon. Look! A giant map! Of the whole universe! Oh. It is that and much more. Each point of light is a gateway to another world. So, point us to our gateway and get us out of here already. <laughs> I'll have no further need for you, Lucian, or your nose. Lucian, you've got to stop them. They'll crush the village. And now to be rid of you, Lucian, once and for all. Point it at him and say bang? Huh? Conjure up a cannonball, airhead! Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no, ball bearings. Ah! Whoa! No one won't stop him! Well, we gotta try something. Surrender, Spellbinder. I return you to the swamp and let you live. Never! Lucian turned Venger's own magic against him. Skip the play by play, Presto! Just find the cannonball, please! <laughs> I guess.
guess we don't need the cannonball, eh, Eric? There's still one small problem. Avenger! Wow! Is Avenger gone for good, Lucian? Alas, no, Barbarian. His own power and that of the Dragon's Heart have banished him only for the moment. Well, at least we won't be around when he gets back. You're gonna show us the way home, right? I'm afraid I cannot. What? The gemstone whose light led to your world was there. Oh, <gasps> no. There is no way the gemstone can help you now. We are grateful for your help and sorry we can't help you in return. You're sorry? After the throne without without walls and the zombies and the home? What do you know about sorry? That's enough, Eric. Let's go. I wonder if we'll ever find a way out of this world. You will one day, magician. With each brave deed, you grow more worthy. You will be rewarded in time. In time for what? Our retirement? Patience, Cavalier. Patience. Mighty dragons and warriors that fly join forces against evil. Their new dragonflies, posable action figures, who pack a secret power the power to fly. Wow, dragonflies really fly! Dragonflies on dragon launchers, Zenith, Peak, fly them, crash them against the evil Dreadwing. Now I rule really the skies. Dreadwing, you're a dead man. Dragonflies, fight is might. New dragonflies, flying action figures with dragon launchers, each sold separately. New from Galoo. Signal goes out. Crime is on the rise. Batman returns. Exploding with power, the bat ski boat thunders ahead, bolting onto land for a missile attack. Gonna fly? My dear Penguin Commandos, the time has come to punish Batman. Batman? Deep dive Batman surfaces. Fire! Tearing into battle, Batman blasts his torpedo. Penguin all wet. Gotham City's greatest hero, Batman returns. In the 26th century, mankind faces an epic struggle for survival. The forces of nature have spun wildly out of control. Mighty cities have crumbled, and the dinosaurs have returned to reclaim the Earth.
In this savage land, one man stands alone, Jack Tenrang, defending humanity in a world gone mad, a world where only the strong survive, a world of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Taking some fishing lessons, Dundee? We're coming back with a feast, Henrik. I'm gonna show these city dwellers how the wassoon fish. Just make sure you don't get any sea slithers tangled in your nets. What's that thing? Oh, that's Sharnhor's newest scheme to keep threshers out of the harbor. A floating electrical fence. It's low voltage, just enough to scare them off. What's powering it? A boat full of batteries, and they have to get it juiced up before the threshers get to it. You're kidding. Does it work? It hasn't even been tested. Well, it's about to. Call in the fleet! Thresher! Hard apart! We're heading in! They're never gonna make it in time! Why would that thresher want to come into the city? Simple. It's hungry. The fishing fleets must be disrupting its food supply. But the city's the last place it'll find any food. Oh, yeah? got a thresher problem, and we're going to have to do something about it. This is doing something? Pipe down. We don't want to scare the Zeeks off. Now! <laughs> I think you finally lost your mind. Hey, when it comes to the behavior of sea slithers, nobody knows more than a wassoon. Oh man, Sharnhorst is gonna love this. Listen, Tenric, do you know what came in the last messenger run from Wassoon? A book about housebreaking Zeeks? I got an offer to return home and head up a new marine research project. It happens to be the job I've always dreamed of. And they appreciate me in Wassoon. Whoa! You won't leave. Do you think they'd let you get away with a stunt like this in Wassoon? It 
it's working! They're settling up in that building! Dandy! What the blazes do you think you're doing? Trying to make sure what happened today never happens again. Do you really think I'm going to let those smelly, disgusting creatures befoul our fair city? Look, Governor Scharnhorst, that electric fence of yours is a fine idea, but... I've had enough of these harebrained schemes of yours. I want those filthy scavengers out of there. Looks like they like it up there. I'm supposed to use my knowledge to help you people. The Zeeks go, Dundee. If the Zeeks go, I go. Don't let me keep you from packing, dearie. Okay, Hermes, let me have it. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, I've got to find a new assistant. <sighs> Perfect. Jack, do you know what Sharnhorse said to me? Hey, I warned you. I'm just doing my job, you know? I'm only trying to help. Right, by turning the city into an oversized birdhouse. Do you have a jeep? Sure, in the back, but... <laughs> Anna? What are you doing? I'm taking that job offer. I'm going home to Wasoon where they appreciate me. Hannah, don't be stupid. You'll never make it through the interior alone. Stupid? Ooh. Hannah, wait. Can't we talk about this? I don't have to take this abuse. It's time I did something for myself for a change. I don't get it. Why would she run off like that? Do you think it was something I said? Oh, you do, huh? Well, if she's that thin-skinned, let her go. She's gotta come back. Right? Turn left back there. If I can just squeak past these boulders. You won't survive for half a day on your own. I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. Just don't talk to me. That suits me fine. <laughs> Come on, Hannah, you can't be serious about this. Oh yeah? Watch me. Be reasonable! Not until you are! Are you calling me unreasonable? Why not? It's what you just called me! But you are being unreasonable! So are you! The electric fence is almost repaired, Governor. But those disgusting scavengers are still fouling up my building! Okay, men, let's clear him out! insisted on chasing me, it wouldn't have overheated. If you hadn't run away from me, I wouldn't have chased you. 
look, Hannah, Wasoon's got plenty of naturalists. In the city, you have a chance to do something really useful. Which nobody appreciates. Some of us do. Well, that only leaves Sharnhorst and the city's entire population against me. They just don't understand you. Do you think they ever will? It just takes time. Okay, maybe the Zeke idea was a little bird brain. That does it! I'm going to Wasoon! Alone! That's fine by me! I've had it with her. They're all the same. Demanding, emotional, illogical. So long as I live, I'll never understand the Wasoons. a bunch of arrogant, hard-headed city dwellers, especially Jack Tenrec. Isn't the great Jack Tenrec? What's left of him? And do you know who I am? Sure, you're Lars Stryker. Used to be captain of the city guard. Until Sharnhorst exiled you to the wastelands. That military coup was a bonehead idea, Stryker. But I see you've moved on to bigger things. You have no idea how big. We have use of his skills. Take him! So tell me, Stryker, where'd you get the neat toy? I found it in the wretched wilderness to which Sharnhorst condemned me. The hardship of the wasteland gave me a great realization. Sharnhorst's government is worse than corrupt. It's weak. Sharnhorst is going to surrender to me, or I'll blow her and the council out of the city. Just what the world needs. A nice little war. True progress will only come when the city bows to the power of an iron will. I think you got a little too much sun in the wasteland, Stryker. You're a quivering coward, like the rest of the tribe! Commander, the engines are overheating again. We've got to shut them down! You, Tenrec, you'll solve this problem. Well, do you have an answer? I think so. This home-brewed fuel of yours, it's way too combustible. Generates too much heat for the cooling system to keep up with. And aren't you the same Jack Tenra, who was known throughout the land for his famous fuel formula? Maybe. Then you will tell me the formula. No. I can make this very hard on you. Why won't you just give it to me? Not to overstate the obvious, Striker. But you're insane. You fool. Your worthless little life could finally mean something. You could be part of a great cause. Give it a rest, Stryker.
war wagon. Got to stop it. Nothing doing. I'm going to Wasoon. Hannah, that thing's packing enough firepower to level the city. It's your city, not mine. Then at least give me your wheels. All right, all right, I'll help solve your little problem, but then I'm out of here. Knock. I can't believe that you and your men could be outfought by a bunch of pea brain Zeeks. You don't know how mean tempered those things are, Governor. They're pussycats compared to me. Ah! Filthy beast! Governor Scharnhorst, let go of me! Ah! I don't believe this. I'll get rid of those Zeeks, even if I have to blast them out of the building. Here it comes. I can sneak aboard that thing, but I'm not sure I can stop it in time. In time? In time for what? Once it's past those mountains, it'll be in striking range of the city. We've got to slow it down somehow. Leave that to me. What are you doing? You can't just talk that thing into stopping. Sure I can. I'm a diplomat, remember? Hannah, no! Give me one good reason why I shouldn't roll right over you. Because if you'd seen the city in the sea recently, you wouldn't bring this thing anywhere near it. All right. You've got my interest. Well, what do you know? She did it. Now to get rid of the cooling fluid. After you tried to seize power, Sharnhorse became obsessed with defense. This will make sure the engines really run hot. There are gun turrets on top of every building. Sharnhorse will blow you to smithereens before you can fire a single shot. And to make sure nobody suspects, We'll have to send a scouting party to verify this. Commander, we caught Jack Tenrek trying to sneak on board. It was a nice try, little lady. You will join your friend Tenrek, while the city in the sea tastes the steel of my invincible will. Well, this is another fine mess you've gotten us into. Me? I was doing fine until you let yourself get caught. Shine Horse got a gun turret on every building. Only a moron would fall for a line like that. I don't think I deserve any more of your sarcasm today, Jack. Uh, Hannah, I want to tell you something. I'm sorry if I said anything to hurt your feelings. You know, about the Zeeks. Why, thank you, Jack. And I wanted to tell you something, too. I swiped a weapon when they weren't looking. Where is it? If we don't get out of here, we're gonna be roasted. Shut your eyes. The heat gauges are off the scale. The engine's gonna explode! All right, let's go! Go, come on, New York! Come on! We've got to hurry! Nobody's steering this thing! Ugh, you miserable insect! Did you really think you could stop my power without facing the consequences? You belong in a cage, Striker. You know that? If my dream goes down in flames, you're going with it! Striker, I have just one thing to say to you. Jump! Oh.
Shouldn't somebody go back and round up those soldiers? Why bother? With Stryker in the city prison, they're just another bunch of scavengers. My Zeeks! Sound the alarm! I don't get it. What's the big deal? Jack, Zeke's feed off the remains left behind by large predators, and they always circle like that whenever threshers are around. <laughs> Now's our chance. While the Zeke's are gone, we'll set the charges. Dundee! How dare you show your face around here? The Zeke spotted the Thresher! The fence worked this time! Well, I... Uh, well, of course it did! I planned it that way. What? what? You all thought those Zeke's were just pests, but I knew they'd help warn us against the Threshers. If you're gonna hang around here, just remember who's governor, sweetie. I don't believe it. Oh, don't worry, Hannah. I'll make sure you get a little credit for your own idea. Ah, uh, Hannah, you can't leave. You're needed here. You've got things to teach them and things to learn. You just can't bring yourself to say it, can you? Say what? That you want me to stay. Okay, so maybe I kind of might want you to stay. Maybe. Well, sort of, I guess. It needs work, Jack. Well, are you staying? Yeah, I'll stay. But the next time you call my ideas bird brain, you're the one who better get out of town. Over here, I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. Oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglin. You sold separately, and we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Beware, the mutant seeking sentinel. Target identified! Mutant apprehended! Wanna mix it up, big boy? My adamantium claws will get rolled back! I've always had trouble with man. My optic blast will give him trouble. Firing projectile arc! Now, sentinel, you will be defeated! Arr! Sentinel robot playset and X-Men action figures. Each sold separately. The greatest <laughs> one came. Make them, take them to the back study. Smash them, mash them. Now the history a little. And now you're a little out of shape. That's the way you go when you play the great escape. The great escape game. Race through the crazy jam factory without getting sliced, squished, mashed, or mushed. Hey, this is fun. I'm almost done. Maybe you yeah. want to know too late. That's the way you do it when you play the great escape. Mr. Keats, our Nobel Poet Laureate. Ahem. You're so scary, Mary Shelley, I've got shivers in my belly. It's just a first draft. And you, Lord Byron? Scared the trousers off me. In fact, could you close that window? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased you enjoyed it. But what about you? Uh, oh, 
horrible of me. I've forgotten your name. Yes, Sam. I'm Max. And if you scare up more of this squeezy cheese, we'll tell you a real scary story. <laughs> gave way to scattered clouds and a high of 85. Sam and Max, freelance constables, were pounding the cobblestones outside a trendy local clothier, the gout. Stop! Dave! You know that never works. Yes, but it's such a wonderful prelude for the impending mayhem. <laughs> Resilient little goof, Max always fluffed right back up. But nothing could prepare us for the sight that was in store. The sight of Max's severed tail, lying lifeless in the street. <laughs> Look, Max, I know you're upset and all, but... <laughs> upset? Who's upset? I'm fine. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my... Well, my bum! That's right! Yeah, I said it! My bad little bum! <laughs> and so began Max's dizzy backward descent into madness. Yeah! Yeah, dude! Cheer up, Max. Our troubles are soon over. We're on our way to see the much maligned Dr. Dysfunctio Cerebri, restorer of life, conqueror of death. Tuppen says this reanimating alchemist can put the fluff back in your duff in two shakes of a lagomorph... Don't say it, Sam. Just don't say it! He's a pretty boy. Yes, he is. He seems to want the new liver. Huh? He seems to want the new liver. Yes, he does. So what do you say, Doc? I mean, can you help my little pal here? It's a matter of life and death. Only you can save my tail. Yeah, we'll do anything. Well, I'm still short of you. Vital ingredients for my experiment. And my regular supplier is a too expensive. I bet he charged an arm and a leg for this hand. I'll need a new kidney. Some bowels, a small intestine, a lymphatic system, if it's a fresh. Hang on, I'll write you a list. And where shall we go to fill out this grisly prescription? This one looks good. Gee, Sam, I don't know about this. You mean you feel at odds about violating the sanctity of the dead and disturbing their eternal sleep? No, I mean digging is hard. Besides, I've got a better way to fill this order. <laughs> Softly, good sirs. What food through yonder takeout window dost thou crave? Uh, two jellied eel meals, a mutton shake... And could you take some raw meat and pat it into the shapes of the body parts on this list? Dost you want fries with that? Yes, yes. Ooh, that's nice. She's a good fit. The patient has been shaved and prepped, doctor. A deal's a deal. Fine, fine. Put him uh, over there uh, someplace. These parts, they are like uh, the party in my hands. The donor, what sort of a guy was he? A dead guy, a big, beefy dead guy. Yeah, beefy. His name was uh, Patty. That's it. He's a done. At last, my moment of destiny has arrived. They laughed at me at the academy. They laughed at me at the institute. It must have been a lot funnier then. But tonight, I, Dr. Dysfunctio Cerebri, shall conquer death and unlock the immortal secret of the reanimation. I command you to rise, walk, and live! The 
there's a life here, I think. Live, Darni, you live! <sighs> it's alive! I am a man and I tell you, it's alive! Congrats, Dark. He's a fine-looking boy. And strapping. I bet he could snap you like a wee twig. Funny you should say that. Frido, for your first act, I should like you to show our guests out. The window! So that I alone will hold the secret of a life! <laughs> Did you hear that, little pal? Finally, some real peril. That's it for me. I <laughs> don't go to any trouble on our account, Doc. Yeah, we'll just take out my reanimated tail and be on our merry way. Reanimated the tail? What a reanimated the tail? <laughs> Larry and Joseph, it's alive! <laughs> A fitting ending, eh, Max? The creator dealt his undoing by his own creation. Max? Hey there, fluffy old friend. Easy boy, just relax. You know me, don't you? Sure. Remember this? So many fond memories. <laughs> We've come for Dr. Cerebri! It's an irate, torch-bearing mob of ignorant townsfolk bent on destroying all things different, unusual, and misunderstood. Irate? We're no irate. We're in town for the United Torchmakers Convention. Thought you may be needing some new torches, like this wee gem, the Flame X 200. No! Good man! Why? We're torch bearing, ain't we? <laughs> Come back, Tail! Come back! Let it go, little buddy. You know what they say. If you love something, set it free. And if it comes back, staple it to your keister. <laughs> you're silly. Can I pet your fluffy fur? Oh, you're so pretty. I think I'll make you my pet and take you home to be with me always. I will pet you and love you and subjugate you to my every whim I will. anyone saw of the tale. As far as we know, it's still out there, condemned to roam the countryside alone. As I am condemned to wander through this world, a miserable, tailless freak. Oh, Fish Posh, your tail isn't lost. It's right there on your little bum bum. Don't tie with me, sister. She said bum. She is in earnest. It's right there, that miserable tuft of hair. He's come home. It's a miracle! Come here, you! Give us a kiss! Come here, come here, come here! Enough! How dare you insult our intelligence! That was the most inane twaddle I have ever had the misfortune to hear. A murderous reanimated bunny tail, indeed. I think those poor folks have been forever scarred, Sam. Then our work is done here, Max. I guess you could say that was one scary tale. Easy there, fella. Save some squeezy cheese for the rest of us. <laughs> Never mind. How many more miles, Sam? Almost there, Max. Good, because I'm lousy with anticipation. I can see. Tell me what the commissioner said again, Sam. Go on, tell me. Tell me what he said. He said in so many four-letter words it promises to be our most bizarre, unsettling, and gut-wrenching assignment to date. We're headed for the rhombus, Max. 
a super secret military enclave whose existence the government completely denies. Most likely because they feel stupid saying rhombus. How about enclave? Hey, good point. Looks like we're here. Let me just get the door. Look, Sam, scientists running in packs. I had no idea nerds were hurting animals. Sam and Max, freelance police. Yes, we sent for you. Please hurry, time is of the essence. What you are about to see is extremely classified. You must never speak of it outside these walls. Can we have your word? Sure, except my word is unctuous, so you won't use it very often. This entire facility was created to house our subject, a being that is without question the world's most fearsome biological entity. I can't believe you weren't even nominated. We believe that if harnessed, this force of nature could become a valuable weapon in our government's immense military arsenal. Immense arsenal? <laughs> That's funny. What? Does my arsenal look big in these pants? Behind this door lies the living terror you have been called upon to tame. You will be doing battle with a being capable of unspeakable power and hostility. I cannot overstate the need for extreme caution. Are you ready? Are you ready, Max? You ready, boy? Are you? Are you? <coughs> All set, Doc. Crack her open. <coughs> I have to be brutally honest here. I was expecting more. Uh, not the wax skeptical or anything, but just what makes this wee shaver a potential weapon of doom? We haven't given you all the facts yet. Allow us to explain. Oh, honey, you've got schmutz all over your face. Aw, oh, Mom! Gary is our son, our only child, and he has a great gift. The beanie weenies are touching the sandwich. <gasps> what? What'd he say? I said the beanie weenies are touching the sandwich! Who's responsible? No, Gary, he's new. How could he know? Spare him, son! This is what I think you are! <laughs> oh, Gary! When? When will the madness end? I stand corrected. I'm the president of his fan club. He just turned that guy into a... Don't say it. There are impressionable youngsters present. Something that rhymes with redhead. That is correct. Gary has the power to physically alter his surroundings with his mind. Really? Hey, Gary, turn me into a painted turtle. I want to be a painted turtle! He's got a slight advantage at dodgeball. Unfortunately, Gary hasn't been himself lately. His moody behavior and tantrums have seriously begun to endanger the project. Hey, it's my estranged Uncle Bill. We'd like you to spend some time with him. You know, cheer him up, toss a ball with him. I think I understand. You just want Gary to feel like any other kid with freakishly destructive powers. Exactly. Good luck. little paranormal critter. If it didn't slash us to bits, I was gonna name it Tippy. I'm sorry. I don't want to do bad things. I just get mad sometimes. We understand, kiddo. You're not in your natural habitat. A boy your age needs lots of fresh air and sunshine and warlike electronic games and artificially colored cream-filled goodies. I've never heard of those things. Are they fun? Let the games begin! <laughs> We're in for some fun now, eh, kids? You can say that again, little pal. We'll show our young charge a good time and use his mystic abilities for our own childish amusement. Can you say symbiotic? Not without busting a gut. Sounds like a bank job, Sam. <laughs> this is what I think you are. <laughs> at 12 o'clock, Max. This is 
is what I think you are! Better go easy for a while, Max. We wouldn't want to drain the kid. Poor little guy. You know, Sam? I think this is gonna be the beginning of a very special and rewarding relationship. Jeez, that guy hit you harder than I thought. This is our rumpus room, Gary. We use these training dummies to sharpen our hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Uh, let's get ready to rumpus! Wow, you guys even have your very own secret command center. You're like superheroes. With special powers, thanks to you. I've never had so much fun. I love you, Sam and Max. Well, gee. We love you too, kid. You know, Gary, at moments like these, Sam and I have a special way of showing how we feel about each other. Really? How? Airplane ride! Master Sam, let him know how you feel! Oh, I don't think I like this. Stop it! Cut it out! You've made me very angry. This is what I think you When will it stop? Herman Max, you sent my positronically enhanced big brother Noogie Man to the refuse heap. I must avenge him. Hmm. Hmm. Not to worry, there. It's just another training device our trusted assistant left to keep us on our toes. <laughs> it's a little loud, though. So, you're the pincher, huh? I bet he packs quite a pinch, eh, Gear? I'm not scared of some dorky old pincher. Pinch, 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 you know, Sam, it occurs to me that the geek probably wouldn't make something that would cause this much damage to her lab. Looks like we read this one all wrong. This here's the real thing. My friends, they're really in trouble. These helmets won't hold out forever, Sam. The pressure, it's... it's... It's messing up my hat size. Hey, you! It's not nice to pinch. How would you like it? Good one, Gear. Way to go there, Chucker. Anything for my friends. Sorry we were gone so long, but Gary and Max and I had quite a day. As you can see, the subject's mood certainly has improved. <laughs> we think old Gear will become a more well-rounded secret <laughs> weapon this way. Are you kidding? He's ruined. Everything's a joke to him. His attention span is nil. You've made him like any other eight-year-old boy. The project is dead. And for that, we are forever in your debt. You mean, you aren't mad? Of course not. Now we can be like a real family again. Did you hear that, Gary? No more tests. No more experiments. Let's go home, son. I feel all toasty inside. Why, Sam? Well, either our lunch is doing slow rolls or we're feeling kind of good about all this. Yeah. Who knew a story about a family as whacked out as this could wrap up as neat as Martha Stewart's underwear drawer? <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy.
with your friendly neighborhood M&M's. Sit down. The same M&M's that come in the bag? Same ones. Only bigger. With a colorful shell, just like this? The actor's catching on. And rich milk chocolate on the inside? Yes. Oh, then I'm really glad you came by. Why is that? Because I'm all out. Which one of you is peanut? Ah, uh, he is. I hear he's delicious. So long, buddy. <laughs> Recruit, we're under attack. I'm Marcella, and you're assigned to my rapid assault E-frame. Climb aboard, cyberjack on, close armor canopy. Launch the loading ranges to survey the battlefield. One o'clock, an amphibious assault E-frame. This is General Shiva, you finished traitor. Incoming Neo Sapien missiles. Let's hit him with our turbosonic rockets. Direct hit. The Neo Sapiens are retreating. Nice shooting, Recruit. You just earned your place in Exo Squad. Hey now kids, come gather around See what just skip in the town So skip it, skip it Do run, do jump, do hop, hop Skip it, skip it Scooping and a screaming and a bop, to bop But the very best thing of all There's a counter on this ball So try to beat your very best score See if you can jump a whole lot more Skip it, skip it Come on everybody, skip it Roaring good fun from Tiger Toy from some time in the not too distant future, it's talking an electronic Robocop. Hands up. Uphold the law. Drop it. You called for backup. Recharge your action figure collection with talking an electronic Robocop in three action pack sizes. Heat unbeatable. You're part of the problem. Oh, dear. Is that an insult? Boys, boys! There isn't time for arguments. We have a shot at the championship cup. We ain't got nothing with our goalie. I should have stayed with the Slayers. Yo, that's cold, baby. Cold is looking like a fool in front of a billion fans. No one's holding you here. You got that right. Dark star, sweetie, darling, honey, stop! Fellas, you're letting the pressure get to you. Think of this as just another game. That's better. Now remember, it's just another game. So what if it happens to be for all the marbles? Watch your back, Mo! What's up, Bones? 
You look like you saw a ghost. Sure. Now who's bailing, bone boy? What are you doing here? What if someone sees you? I'm back to own up to my mistakes. Brought to you by Mutant Motors. The only thing chicks dig more than my tail is my wheels. Mutant Motors, where speed is king. We interrupt to bring you this MLSN special news bulletin. Hall of Famer Malicious Malone, who had disappeared and was presumed dead, is it? He's rumored to be in talks with the monsters in hopes of coaching that team once again. Any way you slice it, we're glad to have the whole pack in the lead. Squaw. What's got your knobs throbbing, ZP? That conniving, double-crossing, malicious Malone is alive. Great! I can make a ton of do re me off that guy. Spikies, mutant motors. Be worth a mutated scent when I banish him from the Hall of Fame. Sally, you're killing me. How am I supposed to make a living? Malone has double-crossed me once, and that is one too many times for my liking. He will pay dearly. With Sputa still rejuvenating his eye, the monsters don't stand a chance against the Slayers. Keep your eye on the puck, Mo. You can do it. Way to go. What was that? Hockey light? Still playing like norms, I see. Here we go again. If it ain't the living dead. I can bring you the championship cup. Funny, I remember you saying that the last time. Right before you sold us out to Prig. I'm back to make up for it. Thrasher. Show no mercy. Lucky catch. All right, muters, make them so. You. What was he? I practically handed you the goal. Back on. Well, now I'm curious. Who do you have under there? And when can he sign on? A girl! Uh-uh, no way! I'm not playing with a chick on my team! Girls ain't even allowed in the league! Says who? Says me, baby! I'll baby you if you don't watch it, pal. Ooh, I'm scared! Knock it off, Dark Star. Bones, bro, don't tell me you're cool with this. No girls on the team. Yo, chick on deck! Hey, 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 hey! You ever heard of knocking? You ever heard of discrimination? You ever heard of getting your lights punched down on the field? Heard of it, but I'm too busy looking good to get thrashed. Oh, check out the attitude. I'm in love. Beat it, fly breath. Get her out of here. I thought you were more like your father. Fair-minded. Don't sweat it, hero. I'm out of here. But I'll be back. There goes the neighborhood! I'm appealing to your sense of fair play, ZP. Okay, your wallet. Malone's a gold mine. I can have him hyping more goods than any player. Even money is not as sweet as revenge. I 
I want in. I'm as good an athlete as anybody. <laughs> you? You got a problem with that? Ooh, feisty. She deserves to play in the league. How charming. You of all people. All facsimile thereof have come to me for a favor. Consider it done. <laughs> Malone, do stay and chat. We've so much to reminisce. Forgive me if I don't agree. I'll see to it that Thrasher is signed with the monsters if you see to it that the monsters do not win. Now why would I do that? I can still prove you through your last championship game. A man can only sell his soul once. Yes, but a mutant is capable of so much more. <laughs> Seems a little one-sided without a goalie. Just practicing my slap shot. I was talking about the championship. Got all the goalies we need. Thanks. None as good as Thrasher. She'll get hurt. Getting hurt's a part of the game. We can take it. She's a girl. Your father would be ashamed of you. No offense. You've quite a temper. What are you, resident genius? Apparently. It's called an exit. Use it. Well, isn't this cozy? She was just leaving. No, I wasn't. All right, what is going on? Mr. Justice has a thing against women in the league. She'll get hurt. Well, if she doesn't mind, why should you? Women. What a cutie. If you like that type. Get me Spikies on line one, Newton Motors on two. Aren't you being a bit premature? Relax, ZP. Malone will come through. It's a win-win situation. You keep the cup, he keeps his Hall of Fame status. And I keep 10% off the top. Thrasher's your ace. You can't win the cup without her. I'm asking as a friend. Don't make it personal, Malone. I'm begging. She's my daughter. I've let down everyone in my life. Don't make me do the same with her. How do I tell the team? Malicious Malone and the championship match soon to begin. Add to that female athletes in the league and you may be talking indigestion. Sherry Steele has more on that shocker. Thanks, Bob. Behind me is where the once last place monsters will battle for the championship cup. But there seems to be another battle brewing. Should women be allowed to play in the league? Sweetie, darling, honey, the field is too dangerous for a girl. Not on my team. If she wants to get pulvergraded. <laughs> Surprisingly, only Zelgor Prig was not opposed. An athlete will be judged solely on his or her ability. There will be no discrimination in this league. Will this year's match prove to be a landmark event? Only time will tell. Back to you in the studio, Bob. I can't let Brig ruin Thrasher's career, too. Like father, like daughter. Your point? You threw the championship game when you played, and now Thrasher follows in Daddy's footsteps. It warms my heart to see a family tradition continue. Lest you prefer to be extricated from the Hall of Fame once and for all. Hey, Faith! Make yourself useful! 
useful and bring me a soda, huh? <laughs> Yo, Dark Star, that's brutal. Someone's gotta show these chicks who's boss. <laughs> yeah, that's showing, eh? Don't worry. I ain't gonna hit no girl. Not unless the sport calls for it. Say it ain't so, bro. She's on the team. See you in the locker room, boys. <laughs> That settles it. Thrasher's in. Yo, bro, having her warm the bench is one thing, but actually letting her play? She's a part of the team now. Treat her that way. I say we show her just how tough the Mutant League is. Man, I don't want to blow the cup. Course not. We're just going to introduce her to pain on a voice name basis. I'm there. Not only is this the monster's first trip to the championship game in the Mutant League, they're taking that journey with the first female ever to play with the Mutant Pros! She's gotta be quite a woman to mingle with these brutes! I ask you, how many gutsy ladies would want to put up with these behemoths? Count them! One! Thrash them along! So hold on to your life, cause this one is bound for the Hall of Pain! I have to go with experience, Bob. Taste the pain, Marrow Man! They're coming in fast! Not fast enough for Thrasher! What were her defensemen thinking? Uh, thanks for the help, guys. Letting her get cream, but man, we almost lost the gold. Don't worry. A couple more jabs and she'll be out of the game. And then we can win the cup like real men. The monsters are letting her get free. Ooh. 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 I can't do this by myself, guys. I should be able to tape that up. And that's the end of the first, with the monsters leading one to nothing! And the chivalry. Malone had better not double cross me this time. Why don't you clue me in on your little game? Back off, Bone Boy. You knew we didn't want her on the team. Yeah, it's our way of making a statement. Well, here's a statement. <laughs> With me now in the booth is Madman from the Screaming Evils! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! As we begin the second period, it looks like the Mutant League proved to be too tough for a female athlete after all! And the monsters don't have their goalie! Music to my ears. 
I didn't figure you for a quitter. Can it, Mr. Big. You got what you wanted. The team made their point. We need you out there. I can't. The guys were right. It's too tough. I knew a chick would bail. They just ain't got what it takes. What's it to you, Finhead? Just thought we could turn you into a decent goalie. It's been real. Yo, where are you going? You don't really want me. Yeah, but we're willing to give you a shot. If you want it. We'll practice a little teamwork this time. Make sure our goalie doesn't get bruised up too much. Your sentiments too? Ain't nothing sentimental about it. I just want to win. We're back in the third and final period. The Slayers are leading, but look out because Russia is back to the monsters. And this time, the defensemen are doing their job. Razor keeps us right from getting at Russia. Yeah, I don't suppose you'd let this one go, ZP. After all, we can still make a fortune off Malone. Some. Are more important than money in short sight and simp. It's a matter of principle. I'm an agent. What do I know about principles? Ten seconds on the clock with the Slayers and Monsters dead even. The Monsters take the shot, but it's the Dragon and Slayers have it. They dish it. tumultuous week in sports as it is, now superstar and Hall of Famer, Malicious Malone apparently has a confession burning a hole in his conscience. Sherry? Bob, let me get right to the point. I would like to apologize to the fans and the sports world. Once upon a lifetime, I sacrificed a play that cost my team the championship. I withdraw from the Hall of Fame. Mutant cops should be mine. I will get it back, and Malone and the Monsters will pay. We still welcome Malone to the Monsters as head coach. Tumultuous indeed! Marshmallowy Lucky Charms, a tasty part of this good breakfast. That's me Lucky Charms. You're magically delicious. Yo, Gurgit, you are this. You'll never cut the mustard, mean winner. <laughs> Food fight. Your history, private pizza. Pow. And your lunch. Combat curtain. Fire. What's going on? Joy saved this food again, Ma. Food fighters, figures in combat garden eat sold separately. Toys do not walk in. Sky dancers. They're playing. Fly for me, just for me. Sky dancers dance for me. Wow, they really fly. Come to me, dance for me. 
me. Sky dancers fly for me. They're beautiful. New sky dancers, real flying dancers with magical wings and pretty dresses. Pull their magic star and they twirl and fly. Sky dancers fly just for me. New flying sky dancers, doll and doll with launcher sets, each sold separately. Terminator. I'm back. Got to find John Connor. But evil T-1000 gets to him first. Hey, back off. Terminator's heavy metal cycle zeroes in and fires. Ah! But T-1000 stands to get even. This is for getting on my bad side. You're next, John Connor. I'm back. Terminator deploys his secret weapon. Hasta la vista, baby. Terminated this time. Terminator is back. Story of the heroine Atalanta, protector of the animal kingdom, and of those who were prejudiced against her because of the roughness of her ways. It is also the story of her battle with the monstrous Caledonian boar. Will the beast destroy Atalanta? Will she be destroyed by the prejudice of both the gods and mankind? In the kingdom of Caledon, young Prince Maligar and the king's huntsmen were preparing for the royal hunt. It has been a long, hard winter. Every day our hunters go out, but they have brought back nothing. It's the king's table we are concerned about. You should be grateful to have what's left over. Oh, come on, Lysias. Let's bury ourselves a fatted deer. If we don't get food soon, the village will starve. You are the greatest hunter in the land. You are the only one who can save us. I'll do what I can. Come on, men. Cosmo. <laughs> I should warn you, Prince, our men have seen a wild creature in these woods. A girl. She is called Atalanta. They say she was a child abandoned in the woods. How could a child survive out here among the beasts? They say she was raised by bears. Bears? What is it, Cosmo? Good work, boy. Prince Maligar was held in great favor by Artemis. The goddess of the hunt. <laughs> Artemis watched over all the great hunters on Earth, but Prince Maligar held a special place. That boy can track and snare any beast in the forest. He won't let his people starve. Onward! <laughs> Did you hear that, Cosmo? Ah, uh, well, perhaps it was nothing. Why are you fighting me? Oh. Can you speak? 
Are you the girl they say was raised by bears? Oh, talkative, aren't you? Look, I'm not hunting the bear for sport. I'm... Oh. Thanks. You don't say much, do you? Come back! I'm not your enemy! She's gone! Cosmo? It's all right. We have to find her, Cosmo. She was beautiful. Didn't you think she was beautiful? Adelanta was deeply moved by her meeting with Prince Maligar. She had watched other hunters in the forest before, but always kept her distance. Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl. Now, for the first time, Atalanta realized that she looked more like the prince than the bears who had raised her. What's the matter with the boy Wonder? Doesn't he like our company? Nah, he's probably eating too much. <laughs> he doesn't have the constitution to be the next king. <laughs> Not like me. Who says he will be the next king? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I feeling so strange, Cosmo? It doesn't make any sense. She's so different. She doesn't look like any of the palace girls. Her clothes were torn and dirty. Her hair was a mess. So why do I feel the way I do? It's perfectly obvious, my boy, that you're in love. Uh, Aphrodite? You don't see her as dirty and wild. You see Atalanta for her true worth. And there is much to love. Could it be true what the goddess of love says, Cosmo? That I'm in love with Atalanta? Prince Maligar's words had stirred a memory in Atalanta of a child long forgotten, a human child with a human mother. My beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. Faster, team, faster! That white stag will make me a gorgeous winter coat. Get out of my way! Faster! Faster! <laughs> who was that mortal who dares to interfere with a god? <laughs> so, Artemis. You have also met your match in Atalanta. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Aphrodite. The girl is nothing but a dirty, wild thing. Atalanta is far more than that, but you can't see past your prejudice. If you could, you would see that there is much to admire. Nonsense. I'll teach that unwashed wretch to try to rise above her station in life. To Mount Olympus, team! I'll unleash a terror on this land that a hundred Atalantas could not hunt down! It is ready, Artemis. A beast more ferocious than any mortal can withstand. Obey my every command. If this Adelana thinks she can hunt like a god, then she will hunt a beast befitting of a god. Oh, die in the attempt!
blinded by prejudice and unable to accept the thought of a common mortal as her equal, Artemis sent the monstrous Caledonian boar to ravage the land. Onward, my frightful friend. We'll draw this huntress, Atalanta, out wherever she may hide. Run for your lives! laid half the countryside to waste. And now it comes to destroy us. We'll see about that. The battlements, men! It's not an animal. It's a metal monster forged by the gods! Not the palace, you foolish creature! The mortal I look for was rough and wild! Search the hills and forests! That is where you will find her! in the forest, and it was plain to her that this was no animal. She was not going to let this monster destroy the only home she had ever known. We must hunt down this evil monster that ravages the kingdom. I am too old to lead you and would only slow you down. So to lead the hunt, I will choose. Here's our chance. Yes. If we show him that we're better hunters than that callow boy, then he'll make me king instead. You. I mean, us. Dear brother, just as we agreed. I choose Prince Maleager, the finest of our hunters, to lead the hunt. What? Finest hunter? Why, just last week I bagged a mountain goat. A huge thing. With horns. Don't worry, brother. Haven't you ever heard the term hunting accident? Hunting accident? Who had a hunting accident? Oh, you mean... And whoever strikes the fatal blow on this foul creature will receive its weight in gold. Gold would be nice, but a kingdom would be even nicer. This is a great honor, Cosmo, to lead the hunt. But more than anything, I hope this monster will bring the wild girl from her hiding place. I'm sure she wouldn't stand by to see her forest home destroyed. The forest was too silent. All the creatures had fled. Atalanta knew the beast was near. Who is this peasant who dares to follow the royal hunt? Ha! Put up your sword, uncle. This is Atalanta, the wild girl. Atalanta, stop! Atalanta, we need you. Need her? You must be joking. She knows these hills and valleys better than any of us. <laughs> that dirty wild thing. Just look at her. What could she teach us about hunting or anything else? Come back! The boar has gone into the gorge. There's no way out. Let's set the traps. Our dear prince is full of ideas, isn't he? Ah, uh, anyone could make one of these. A hundred arrows at once. <sighs> that could be very dangerous if it went off by accident. <sighs> yeah. Very dangerous. <laughs> Is it ready yet? <laughs> yes, it's ready. 
It sure is. <laughs> Where did you come from? The boar! It's a trap! Behind you! Look out! The boar! Oh! You fool! I don't know who's more dangerous, you or the beast! We've killed it! You hideous hog, or I'll have you melted down for scrap! Uh, I, I think we should turn back. He's right. We cannot conquer what the gods have created. We must keep trying, or the kingdom will be destroyed. Ah, yes. The kingdom. But this time, Atalanta should lead the hunt. She is the one with the greatest skill. Skill? She can't even speak! She makes noises like bears and birds! She also thinks like them, and that's what saved our lives. And when you find the beast, what then? How do we destroy it? I have a plan. Come on! I have a plan too, but there will be more than one head on my trophy wall. It appears, Artemis, that you have begun something you cannot finish. And your prize hunter, Prince Maleager, may end up paying the price. Nonsense. The boar is under my complete control. Perhaps. But the fires of vengeance have a life of their own. So, dear prince, what exactly is this plan of yours? I noticed that when the beast raises its tusks, there is a gap in the armor that covers its heart. If it has a heart. Its heart is made of metal cogs and wheels, which drive its body. I have made an arrow out of tempered steel. If my aim is true, it will wreck the machinery that drives the boar. What an excellent idea! Of course, you'd have to be very close to the monster to get such a shot off. Very close. And if you miss... I know. Arrow? Oh dear. It seems I gave the prince one of my wooden arrows instead of his steel one. What a tragedy.
Artemis. I hope you are happy now. Your finest hunter lies dying. And you, protector of all hunters, are to blame. This is not what I intended. Now the throne will pass to the prince's wicked uncles. Two men whose prejudice exceeds even yours. You should have seen Atalanta for her true value, as a hunter, when you had the chance. You are right. I must make amends to Maligar and punish those who betrayed him. Atalanta! I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt that we killed the Caledonian boar. You did the right thing, Artemis. I am not helping you with his love match, though. Hunters shouldn't fall in love. It weakens them. That's because you've never understood the power of love. Atalanta is proud, though. She will only marry the man who can beat her in a foot race. You'll never beat her. She runs swifter than a deer. As I said, you don't know the power of love. You would have fallen. The golden apples are a gift to us from Aphrodite, the goddess of love. Love. Yes. Love. Ah. It is always important to look beyond what is on the outside and to get to know the value of a person from what's inside their heart. Prince Maligar did just that and found great happiness with Atalanta. Godzilla versus his enemies of destruction, the king of all monsters against the baddest beasts of all time, Rodan, Mothra, Ghidra, Mechaghidra, and Mechagodzilla. It's an eye-flashing, tail-whipping, building-bashing Godzilla war, and only the strong survive. Godzilla rules. Heard about this new game called Splat? Oh, I hate when that happens. Mommy, love it! Splat! Splat! Splat and bugs is where it's at! Splat! That wasn't so bad. That was! The game Splat! You make bugs in the bug -o -matic. Don't splat my bug! If you don't want your bugs to get splatted, you gotta be the first to get them to safety. Splat and bugs is where it's at! Splat! I, I hate when that happens! Mommy, love it! Splat! From Milton Bradley! Planets, a universe at your command. Put the power in your hands. You've never seen planets like this before. You transform heroic planet rock into a mighty war planet with massive armies. You construct generator moons to build the ultimate war planet of unlimited power. Massive weapons to face the ultimate evil, the beast planet. Weapon fire on every side. Reveal the planet eating claw inside. You transform Mighty Planet Bone with stinging tentacle attack. You transform Heroic Planet Ice with Freeze Ray Missile Blast. A universe at your command. Weapons smashing. Planets blessing. Missiles fire away for all-out war. All-out war planets. Take command. The power is in your hands. Totally new war planets, each sold separately. You can collect them all. Batteries not included. Record. Cool.
Hey, Anna Lynn Annual is publishing my piece on the sleep patterns of Chilean cave worms. Anyone want to read an advance copy? I would wait for the movie. This is like totally bogus. Gag me with a crescent oh. wrench. Randy! Oh, what do you mean? Turkey jerky is pure nutrition. You are what you eat. Listen, gearhead. Mess with Nigel one more time and I'm gonna crash your system permanently. Get me? For sure. Dude. Cease fire, guys. <sighs> Elsie. Annalid Annual accepted my submission. Pinch me. She's been in a bad mood all day. Uh, Elsie, you got a call from the Lakeside High School Reunion Committee. Um, they never received your RSVP and the reunion is tonight. Thanks. Aren't you going? What's the point? To see who's gotten fat and bald, of course. Or married with a great job and perfect kids. <laughs> Please, I've got better things to do. New York's finest grilled right here. That was the manager of Electronic Galaxy on Lexington. They're being attacked by a hot dog cart. Mendel, robotic? Not like any mechanism I've ever seen. <laughs> no remote signals. This thing is operating on its own. I is that good or bad? Bad. Very bad. Do something! Shoplifting. These wires are not part of the freezer's normal design. We'll take the door back for analysis. Randy, Monique, try to track that thing. Elsie? Elsie Chapman? I thought it was you. <laughs> uh, Susan Hendler. Well, actually, it's Saunders now. Yeah, six blissful years. And what about Miss Most Likely to Succeed, huh? Is there a special guy in your life? And not right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, at least you have an interesting job, huh? I am just stuck on Wall Street all day. You happen to be looking at the woman who helped defeat Godzilla. Oh, I think I remember hearing about that. We were in Europe at the time. Well, got a dash. See you at the reunion. Ta-ta. I hate my life. Electro-impulse pathways. They must transfer power, allowing the creature to absorb other machines. Creature? That thing's alive? This evidence would suggest a technosentient, a self-aware, free-thinking mechanical entity. It's like no other mutation we've seen. Nothing the Earth has ever seen. This just came via messenger. So, Mendel, how do we pull this mechanical mutation's plug? Electromagnetic pulse generator. Spits out electrons at a violent rate via a supercharged magnetic field. In English. It produces a pulse similar to that preceding a nuclear detonation. Doesn't harm people or structures, but fries anything and everything electronic. This... this has to be a mistake. It's addressed to you. No card. Looks like you have a secret admirer. That could be him now. Hello, Elsie's love nest. We were 88 and we were signed. Gonna get down here, half face. Oh, 
our boy had quite a growth spurt. <laughs> All right, Motorhead, say hello to 10 megatons of fun! My truck! It's reflecting the EMP! How do you suggest we do that? Better late than never! There's a payphone when you need one. I hope I'm not bothering you guys. Doc! But if it's not too much trouble, get me out of here! No! Move, move, move! We can't let that giant erector set run away with Mendel. Let's go. Doc? Y yo, Doc! You still there, Doc? Where else would I be? Mendel, we need info if we're gonna figure out how to stop this thing. What's going on in there? SATCOM 3! Oh, it's using a satellite dish to access the internet, downloading volumes of information. It's taking a crash course on the planet Earth. A series of numbers keep flashing. 33, 21, 44, 25. It might be an encryption code. I should be able to hack into that thing's brain. You gotta find the CPU and patch me in on the cell phone. Well, of course. I'd be happy to. Oh, how come I always have to do everything? Attention all passengers, this is the 118 Express. Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing some mechanical difficulties. Please disembark immediately. You two stay here. Follow that monster machine if it bolts. Options. We have to disconnect these cars before the entire train is absorbed. No good! Use this. Welcome to New London, proud home of Fort Mackenzie. That base houses a nuclear arsenal. How do you know? The creature incorporates one of those nukes into its structure. Kaboom. The Earth better bundle up for a long nuclear winter.
missiles before they can detonate. that thing from reaching the nukes. Whoa. I think I just found the brains of this operation. What's the word? Randy, those numbers, they're not encryption codes. They're map coordinates. Latitude and longitude? For where? Baghdad. Why would this thing want to nuke Baghdad? Retaliation would result in a global domino effect. Nothing could survive the fallout. Nothing but machines. Patch me into the CPU. Coming up! absorbed the nuke. No, it only absorbed the launch platform. Why? So it can fire the missile without going along for the ride. We have to get Mendel out of there right now! Do it! You and Monique. Randy with me. for the missile's secret launch code. Can we disarm it? All external overrides are blocked! Our only hope is if Doc can patch me into that thing's central processing unit. for me. Won't that detonate the nuke? I hope not. It only 
needs one more number. Talk to me, Randy. I can't override. Taking the techno sentient with it. Why are you smiling? We have front row seats to World War III. That, 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 I don't think so. I wasn't able to stop the launch, but I did change the missile's travel plans. In space, no one can hear you explode. What's this? That's mine. Give it back. It's a receipt for a dress. My new dress. Mendel? You're my secret admirer? Mendel? Mendel? We still have an hour to make the reunion. We? Well, you don't think I'm gonna do the hustle all by myself, do you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Craven has a date? We should have let the world blow up. 